Jan, how do you know? You can't see my feet, man. Welcome to our Espresso Express Youth Sport this morning. I know Tata Matiba would be happy with us combining two of his favorite things, sport and, of course, the youth, which he loves so much. And with all of our kids off school at the moment, they have been focusing their attention on sport. We've got a lot to catch up on from the final of the Craven Week to some awesome mountain biking. Time to bring you up to speed with our latest youth sporting results. Let's take a look. Welcome to your Tuesday morning edition of U Sports here on Expresso, only on SABC3. Now, the culmination of an exciting and hard-fought 2012 Craven Week. While not a knockout tournament, the two sides who earned their spot in the unofficial final showdown to decide who scoops school rugby's highest accolades with the Golden Lions and the Blue Bulls. While the Young Lions had been out-muscling most sides in the tournament, they met a Bulls outfit who had been timing their performances perfectly. And not able to cross the line in the first half, they must have gone into the break a little nervous. At 32 down, there was no holding the floodgates closed, but the young star Jansa van Rensburg darting down his second try to round off a man-of-the-match performance. The final routing ended with 47 unanswered points on the board. So no surprise then that the Blue Bulls had the majority of their squad called up for the SA Schools Trials later this month, which was announced at the conclusion of the Under-18 competition, a break from the usual tradition of naming a final team. Junior Bok manager Yusuf Jackson explains. The, uh, the difference in the composition of the uh, selection of the squad for, uh, for this year in comparison to that of last year is uh, last year we had the SA Schools team that immediately was selected following the uh, following the Coca-Cola Craven Week, the under 18 edition. Uh, this year we've got uh, trials game which is taking place, uh, as I've mentioned, at the end of July. Um, the trials game is a combination uh, of players that were selected from the Coca-Cola under 18 Craven Week, as well as uh, one or two uh, guys who participated and competed in the Coca-Cola under 18 Academy Week. So there's 50 players that are going to get together and they're going to be playing in a series of trial match matches. And um, thereafter, um, a squad uh, will be selected that will be competing uh, in internationals against France, England and uh, Wales. One of the last events in the Western Province Spur Schools, Mountain Bike League in Pal. And some of the top riders in the province were there to represent their schools and hopefully ensure qualification to the SA Champs in Nelspreet the following week. The course was fast, the ground was moist and the competition was fierce. Mountain biking is one of the fastest growing sports in the country and while it's a lot of fun, at a competitive level it's not for the faint-hearted. With daunting uphill inclines and heart-stopping downhill challenges where those trees and rocks just seem to jump out of nowhere. In the youth woman classification, Claudia LaRue from Lakoff, Marzei Jacobs from Montana Hursko, and Cassandra van den Hefer, also from Montana, made the podium. For the youth men, Nicole Carstens from Montana, Harry Milan from Paul Ruas, and Ivan Fenter from Paul Fallet were the three top dogs. And for the junior women's category, Corey Kayser from Hermanus High School took third place, Karina de Kock from Montana Hoer took second, and the winner was Marie Kemp from Parle Fallet School in Somerset West. Uh, it was very windy um, on the last part of the course, but um, quite cold as well, but not too muddy, no. Last time it was very muddy. Three top riders in the junior men's category were Janus Bass from Paul Ruas in Stellenbosch, of course, in third position. Paul Ruddendam from Parole Filet made second, and the winner was Dylan Hutton, also from Parole Filet. Yeah, it was close. Um, I me and Dylan rode well together, and um, you know it's always a battle between us, but uh, I still enjoyed it, and I'm still happy with my second place. Yeah, it was really nice. The course was really flat, so it catered for everyone, but um, it was nice. Uh, stiff competition, so. So, Paul Ruiz now sit on top of the log with a whopping 418 points. They're trailed closely by Montana High, Parel Fallet, Diff Milan, and Paul Gymnasium, respectively. So, a big shout out to the crowds and riders for braving the cold and wind, and for their great riding. We wish all of our winners the best for the upcoming challenge at the South African Champs in Nelspreet. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.